So I'll walk back to the setup here. So you'll want this rolled blanket, as you can see here. I also have my ice pack. And then a second blanket for your head. And I'll take this one. The height of the blanket for your head, what you're going to be using, will be determined by how flexible your upper back feels on this blanket. And the height of the blanket for your head is going to be where you'll place the ice pack for the base of the skull. So you'll make that decision based on how you are experiencing the blanket roll here. So let me take this, let me just check my zoom setting because I've used it a couple times today with different microphones. Checking. Alrighty. So the space between the rolled blanket and the blanket for your head should be considered because your arms are going to go between the two blankets. So it looks like this. You will be lying backwards, so the upper back is on the high point of the blanket roll. You take your ice pack, whatever one you have, if you're using it, and you're going to place it under your head and then try to configure how high does the blanket need to be under your head for your chest and heart and arms to feel comfortable here and for the ice pack to support the base of your skull and the back of your neck. So in my case, I'm going to fold this blanket a tiny bit more so that my ice pack will fit right under the curve of my neck. And then the arms go out into a T-shape like this. We're going to do a practice with the arms and the release of tension for the arms. Then we'll do that for the legs and we'll end up with the arms and legs out like a starfish. And then we will shift to one other position about halfway through class and you'll, you'll know when that is. Okay, so please lie on your back with your knees bent. And let the shoulders start releasing down towards the floor. So this blanket under your upper back, it's really like right behind the middle of your sternum. And that means that it's at the middle of and the upper part of your shoulder blades. The blanket is not down at the base of your sternum, so it's not poking your rib cage up towards the ceiling. And please close your eyes. And to help with the transition from daily activity into restoration mode, I'm going to ask you simply to float your arms up from the floor about two inches. Spread your fingers wide and stretch out from the center of your heart as you inhale. When you exhale, keep your arms raised, but squeeze both hands into fists and imagine stretching a little further out to your right and your left. Inhale, open your fingers and your thumbs. And then exhale and lay your arms, elbows, hands, and wrists down to the floor. Let your body relax. We're going to repeat that, but we'll raise the arms a tiny bit higher. So first, inhale, float your arms two inches up from the floor. Now squeeze your fists, raise your arm two inches higher. Open your hands, inhale, stretch out. And then exhale, lay your arms back down towards the floor, elbows, forearms, wrists, and knuckles. Again, inhale, two inches above the floor, spread your fingers wide. 
squeeze your fists, raise your arms two inches and two inches more. Inhale, spread your fingers wide. And exhale, lay your arms down. At the same time, softening your forehead, your eyes, the corners of your eyes, your temples. And one more time, inhale, raise both arms, spread your fingers just about two inches from the floor. Exhale, make your fists and bring your arms up two inches, two inches, two more inches. Breathing in, spread your fingers wide. And then exhale and drift your arms back down to the floor. Now release both knees to your right and turn your head to your left. As you release your knees down to the right and you stretch your left arm left, just try to sense, like with yesterday's practice, how the inner contents of the belly shift to the right slightly. And you might sense, like inside your left ilium bone, the space into which you can breathe. And then inhale, roll your knees up to center, bring your head to center, and take both knees down to your left, turn your head to your right. As you rotate your head to your right, let both knees rest against either the floor for your left knee or the right knee resting where it drops to, it may not be on the floor. and sense the space inside the right belly that you can breathe into. And then roll your knees and your head to center. And now stretch your left leg out on the floor, just a couple moments by itself. And then float your left leg one or two inches up from the floor, pull your toes back towards your head, take a deep breath in. Even squeeze the left butt muscles. And then release your left foot down, release the back of your calf and your thigh, let go of your hip. Now take the right leg out and raise your right leg an inch from the floor, squeeze your toes back towards your head, squeeze your right butt muscles, engage your thigh muscles, take a deep breath in. And then exhale to release, including relaxing your butt, your hamstrings, your kneecaps, your calves and toes. Now imagine the feet, you can take them a little bit wider like a starfish. And imagine the feet are like tiny windshield wipers and you're going to be rocking the feet in and out, in and out. So that's a little process you're just doing to kind of release the toes, the ankles, heels, calves, knees and thighs, and hips. You can smile at your efforts. A little bit of rocking, about 20 seconds more. And breathing in, and when you next exhale, then release the actions of your legs and enjoy for these next several minutes. This is like a starfish position. The starfish has a little back bend in the heart. Close your eyes. You can also consider covering your eyes if you like.
and especially from your sternum, from the very top of your sternum, down over your collarbones, towards your shoulders, especially there. Allow your heart to soften for the muscles and the bones to relax. As you rest your attention at the heart center, let's picture this is the element of the air in the fourth chakra. Let's picture the wide open sky of the heart. Maybe the air just above the trees, spacious and unhindered. Imagine your heart like the sky. just above the tall trees. And imagine the quality of the sky, spacious, open and welcoming. And a gentle breeze, the sky, the air. The qualities of lightness, spaciousness, freedom. As you rest your attention on this image in your own heart, let your mind deeply relax. So the nature of the helicopter mind, that has permission to slow down immensely, to become deeply quiet. And imagine the open sky, really just at the sternum, up into the collarbones, shoulders, the horizon of your arms, fingers and thumbs. Let your mind rest in the spaciousness, in the open space.
allow your mind to rest a few degrees more with the space, the freedom at the tall trees, the air just above the trees. Welcoming this inner quality, this spaciousness, the freedom of the air element. Just lightly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Don't leave behind the quality of freedom. But I would like you to roll to your side. We're going to change the blanket slightly. Let me press up momentarily. Either move yourself, or in my case, I'm going to move my blanket because I'm going to be showing to you. So what I'm doing is laying the blanket down my mat lengthwise now, and I'm going to reach up to take these two blanket, this blanket and the ice pack in a moment. So you sit in front of the blanket now. Let me scooch this back a little bit farther. So when you sit in front of it, you don't sit on it. You sit in front of the blanket, and you're going to lie back, and you take the two blocks for the knees, and then reach up for the other blanket and your ice pack. And then resume. So what you have here is now your hips are off the edge of the blanket, the back bend that you had in the heart will remain a bit because the arms go out to the side. And there's this openness from the sternum to the shoulders. But we're going to include the openness in the pelvis here at these ilium bones. And you can again choose to cover your eyes if you like that process. And come promptly back into resting. Let your eyes come back into seeing as if you were gazing just above the tall trees on a horizon. The space above the trees would be clear and spacious. And imagine this possibility as the quality of your mind, able to release the helicopter blades of thought, and also not to get caught in sort of the, um, the wagon ruts of the mind. Raise your gaze inside just above the tall trees where the air, the space, and the light are clear. And you begin to imagine then that the 
tips of the tall trees have experienced the weather patterns. The rain, the sun, the wind, the snow. And yet the tips of the trees remain reaching upwards, willing and open. Imagine this quality in your own heart, in your mind. The weather patterns of life, they do come and go. Sometimes a weather pattern lasts longer than we have sensed we have the strength for. Sometimes a weather pattern is short but intense. You just sense how the tall trees reaching to the open sky, even after a rainstorm, after the fog. Imagine the open space above the trees into which they are reaching. Invite your mind and your heart to have that quality of spaciousness. and fingers, thumbs, to get a little heavier towards the ground. The heart, the upper part of the heart and collarbones remaining open to the sky. And keep your eyes at rest on this internal image of the sky and the heart. So even if a thought rises or passes, even if a thought returns or tempts you, you can practice keeping your eyes still as if the thought were a bird in the sky and the sky doesn't mind.
attention to keep resting on the space, the sky, the open quality, with your eyes deeply still, unwavering. And as you sense the sky and the space, even if a thought rises and passes, imagine it like a bird in the sky. It does not pull you away, and the sky never minds. Keeping that sense of openness in the heart, deep quiet in the mind. Now imagine that from your heart, like the sky, with the freedom of the wind, a blessing that you offer can flow outwards to all others, everyone, everywhere.
slightly deepen your breathing. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your knees up to center. And then walk quietly down to your left side or your right side, you, do, you choose. And use both hands to bring yourself back up to sitting. Take your time. And as you come upright, you can imagine once again that the air element is at the fourth chakra, so like the sky, the air of the heart, Here we have the space for the weather patterns that will come and go in life. And join your hands together and we'll chant once through. Naka Samasta Sukino May all beings everywhere have access to the means of happiness. May they have their basic needs understood and met. May all beings everywhere be safe from unnecessary harm. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.